Hello and welcome to another edition of Steve Moran Select. Steve Moran from Best Bets uh, joins me to preview Sunday's meeting at Flemington. We're back 24 hours. Uh, it's going to be worth the wait. Cracking fields. It is a sensational day, Sean. Uh, the lineup for this program on Sunday. It's quite remarkable. Enormous depth in all of the races. Maybe Hay List, of course, will start fairly short in the Gill Guy, but other than that, they're all tremendously competitive. Uh, I've always thought that collectively this was the best days racing, Epsom in Sydney, Turnbull in Melbourne. Well, we'll get to savour it, I suppose, over 48 hours uh, this time around, but really looking forward to Flemington. All right, well, let's get into it. Uh, our Group 1 event on Sunday is the Turnbull Stakes over the 2,000 metre trip. Terrific line-up here. What did you make of shootout last time at the Valley? Are you going to forgive him? I am going to forgive him. Um, I think that's the key form around uh, Huber Got You and Co. And of course he was caught in the worst part of the track there behind Huber Got You and Typhoon Tracy uh, finishing just alongside Precedence who of course won so well last Friday night at a different level of course. But I think he gets his opportunity uh, this weekend shoot out perfectly drawn inside. He can probably land fifth or sixth. I agree with uh, Mark Kavanagh who's already said that he's predicting a pretty hot pace and a, a hot contest here. I think that will unfold. So. It will give Shootout the chance to do what uh, John Wallace and Stathy Katsidis tell us he's capable of and what we saw in Sydney, to sit off at genuine speed and really unleash as he can do. I think he might be able to do it this week and uh, I think the, the main danger is probably Typhoon Tracy coming through that same form. Uh, don't underestimate Peter Moody just tinkering a little bit with this mare. I think he's probably got her on song and don't underestimate her extraordinary record on good tracks which I think we've tended to forget through a couple of her lead up runs. Eight starts on good tracks for seven wins and a nose second, nearly unblemished. So they're the two key runners but it is such a competitive turn but you could have six picks and perhaps miss the winner. Uh, shocking unbeaten at Flemington, Vigor who had a real sort of be on me next time run in the Maccabi Diva. You know Bart's Mares, Dariana and Faint Perfume, either one could win without surprising me but I will be backing shootout. All righty. Well, the race that uh, is garnering plenty of interest, certainly uh, I'm excited about it, is the Gilgai Stakes. Hey, List, you mentioned before, the Hustler is back in action. We get to see the first horse out of Macau in good control. Terrific race, this. It's a very good race. Uh, weekend Hustler intriguing, isn't it? What second reign in 85 weeks? And, of course, he pulled up lame after the other. I mean, I, who knows? Um, Ross McDonald probably knows, but maybe even he's not completely sure. Let's hope he runs a cracker. Uh, the horse from Macau, good control. Well, we can get a reference on him from his runs in Dubai and that those runs against horse, horses like Star Crown say to me that he, could, he can measure up to probably a second level here. Could he beat our A graders? I don't think so. And we have an A grader in Haylist. Um, what he's done in his past two wins has been phenomenal. Um, you look back over the years, I mean, the straight hasn't bothered the great top-class sprinters. You can rattle off names for the last 20 years. It's never an issue. I don't think it'll be an issue with him, particularly as he's drawn out. I see that as a plus. I think he'll win again, hey, List. What's your numbers there? Who's he going to defeat uh, then for the multi-players? Well, Catapulted, I think, is the main danger. The horse, of course, who ran second to him at Mooney Valley and was not in the best part of the track. Um, so Mark Kavanagh might, as so often happens at this time of the year, uh, might provide the dangers, certainly in Catapult, perhaps in Bank Robber, who came out last week, but you go back to his run behind All Silent and the Patnack, you've got to entertain him to some degree. thought Ross David did enough fresh and Weekend Hustler, well, he's just the big question mark. He is indeed. Uh, the Edward Manifold's the Group 2 race for the Phillies here. Uh, the big track, the mile, and the good track as well is going to be important uh, with a number of horses with genuine chances. Yes, including the one I fancy a little bit, Shamrocker. I think she might be the value each way in the early markets. I think she desperately wants to get back to Flemington and the mile. I thought her run in the Thousand Guineas prelude was OK. She didn't ping, but she found the line and I think she wants further. She might even be you know, gearing towards Wakeful Oaks, but I think she'll run a much better race here on Sunday and gets the weight advantage from the Thousand Guineas prelude. The two that Quinell of that race, Divorces and Sistine Angel, will be highly competitive again. Uh, ring a ring a Rosie, I think, might run better at Flemington on the big track. But I think there's a bit of value with uh, Shamrocker each way and the Edward Manifold. All right, so your best bet, hey, Les, best uh, each way, Shamrocker. What about your best, Ruffy? I think Rock Pecker for Kenny Fife, who ran a fantastic race first up at the Valley behind Perturbo. That's been a great form reference, that race, including True Persuasion, of course, running second to Haylist last uh, Friday night. 
Um, at first inspection, you look at Sister Madly, Wurram, we're going to rock coming out of the Group 1, Rupert Clark, and you might think they've got a mortgage on trifecta in this race, but we all said it wasn't the greatest Group 1 ever run. Maybe it wasn't. We'll find out in the weeks ahead. I think Rock Pecker, he'll, he'll push forward. He'll land in the right spot. 1,400, his fresh run was great. He'll probably be double-figure odds because of the depth in the race, and uh, I'm happy to have something on Rock Pecker. All right, Steve. Well, thank you for jumping in and joining us. Uh, good luck. We'll see you uh, Sunday. Don't turn up early. No, I'll be there uh, Saturday. What have we got planned? It's uh, probably sitting on the couch with the laptop watching Sydney and the, and the footy. Um, and certainly on Sunday, it'll be a cracking day. Get out there. And the weather looks to be great too as well. So no excuse whatsoever. Well, that's been our edition of Steve Moore on Selects. You can find all of Steve's selections in this edition of Best Bets. You'll pick it up at your nearest news agency. Stay tuned for more news. Thank <laughs> you.